everybody. I am Leah Frazier, an award-winning fashionpreneur here in Dallas, Texas. If you're kind of crazy and thinking about what exactly does that mean, it just basically means I'm a fashion entrepreneur. I have multiple businesses that center around the fashion industry from being an award-winning journalist to a personal shopper and a speaker, fashion industry consultant, as well as a coach to fashion industry hopefuls who are desiring to get into business. It could be that they just graduated with a fashion degree from college, or it could be a second career choice, and they're looking to build their brands and their businesses and to do so profitably and successfully. So my job is to make sure that they're able to segue into the industry and to do it as seamlessly as possible. So today, I just wanted to do a short video on three ways very easy, simple things that you can work on every single day if you want to make it in fashion. And this is for anybody that either wants to do fashion journalism, maybe you're a designer, um, maybe you are a fashion stylist or a personal shopper. But if you're like me, where you come from another career, so I was an attorney by trade, I woke up and I decided, you know what, I want to inspire women. I'm obsessed with clothes. I'm obsessed with style. I love looking great. I love to inspire women. How can I merge the two? And so I decided about six years ago that I was going to start my own personal shopping business and it has flourished and I can't, you know, thank the Lord enough for what he has done for me and my business for following my purpose and my calling. So for those of you who are kind of teetering on the edge and don't know whether or not um, you can actually make a career out of this. I just want to say that you can, but it does take time being intentional in your efforts and things that you do every day to progress your business. So the first thing that I would suggest that you do if you want to make it in fashion is to just don't let that passion die, but you also have to educate yourself on the industry itself. So if you're coming from another career path, like I said, I was an attorney, so all I knew about fashion was what was in the stores. So humble yourself, go and see if you can learn from designers or join different associations. Fashion Group International is great. Also buying books on the subject. So when I first decided to start my personal shopping business, I was not ashamed to go out and buy fashion for dummies. And literally this book, you can see how thick it is, but it goes from everything from colors to style analysis to um, how the process works from design to market. So by the time I finished the book, I really felt like I had a core foundation and knowledge of how the fashion industry actually worked. So once you decide, okay, I'm going to either buy some books or maybe tap into some people who are already in the industry and educate myself, then I think that's a great way to start to make it in. Next thing I would suggest is to definitely network. Don't be afraid to get out there and to put yourself out there in whatever industry. So for me, as a stylist and a personal shopper, I made sure I went to all of the key fashion events and introduced myself as a personal shopper or a stylist. That way I can network and find out who the movers and shakers were, who do I need to be around, where is my next potential client? So eventually I stopped networking at the fashion events and started going to the events that I could perceive ahead of time that my clients were going to be at. And that was the way I drove business um, to myself. So eventually after, you know, education is always ongoing. But once you find out what track you want to do, I definitely suggest to just get out there and network. And I know it's hard. Sometimes people have families, they have kids, you have responsibilities. But at least trying to go to one to two events a week to get your name out there and to do it intentionally and schedule it and calendar it, I promise you will make a world of difference and build up all those contacts. Next. I call it mirroring the masters. So basically, it's the same thing as volunteering your time to kind of mirror someone who's in the position of where you want to be. So when I first started out um, for personal shopping, I definitely mirrored a woman who's been in the business for over 25 plus years. And basically, she gave me the permission to build my business the same exact way. And it was so successful. And even now, I still go and I sit down with designers to figure out what they're doing because I want their, that level of expertise. Um, so don't be afraid to go volunteer to go backstage at fashion shows and help with styling. Maybe um, find a mentor who's in design. Or if you want to be a fashion journalist, 
um, try to be a guest contributor for somebody's blog or help to help write um, posts for somebody's website. These are the three key ways that I feel like you can make it in fashion. So again, just to recap, just to get an easy start, three simple ways, what you're going to do is just take that passion and educate yourself. So whether it's with just reading some key books to get yourself um, very well versed in the industry and with knowledge, do that. Second, get out and network. And don't be afraid to start before you actually have an established business. Just go out, take those affirmations that I am a fashion stylist or I am a personal shopper or I am a fashion designer and get out there and network. And you will be amazed at the level of contacts and people that will gravitate towards that passion and want to work with you. Third, mirror the masters. Humble yourself and go and do um, a couple of free events, volunteer your time, just so you can learn from the people who have been in the industry um, for years to come. Just taking these three steps will accelerate you. Obviously, there's a lot more to which I'll be posting on this page, but taking these three steps will ensure that you're building a foundation for a very profitable and successful business. Until we meet again, um, please tune in. You can find me on Instagram at the Leah Frazier, Periscope at the Leah Frazier, Twitter at the Leah Frazier, and you can follow me on my Facebook entrepreneur page, Leah Frazier. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me on any of those mediums, and I will see you guys later. Ciao.